In this question, we are looking at the reaction of metals with oxygen to form metal oxides. So an example of an equation will look something like this. Take note that it is not balanced. Now, whenever a metal reacts with a non-metal, remember it forms an ionic compound and it involves the transfer of electrons. So essentially what happens is that the metal would transfer electrons to the non-metal. So what the question is asking is this, that in the formation of one mole of which metallic oxide? So the keyword here is one mole of the metal metallic oxide. Do the metal atoms not transfer exactly two moles of electrons? Now, how do we go about doing it? Is firstly to recognize that when metals react with non-metals, they give away electrons, they transfer the electrons. So first we need to find out, first thing that we need to find out is for every one mole of metal, of each metal, how many electrons do they give up or transfer? How do we do that is by writing the half equation. So for example, aluminium, when aluminium um, transfers electrons, one mole of aluminium, will actually transfer three moles of electrons. Okay, because aluminium has three valence electrons, one aluminium would give up three electrons, one mole of aluminium would give up three moles of electrons. Iron, when it forms iron two oxide, it will give up two moles of electrons per mole of iron. Magnesium would give up two most of electrons as well and then sodium per sodium it will give up one more of electron now at this point in time um, it may seem like we don't have an answer okay because we need to uh, then recall that this is for one more of metallic oxide so the next thing that we need to do is to find out in one mole of the metallic oxide, how many moles of metal cations are there. So what I'm saying is this, if we look at the formula of aluminium oxide, iron 2 oxide, magnesium oxide and sodium oxide. For each mole of aluminium oxide, there are two aluminium ions. So in the formation of one mole of aluminium oxide, essentially, there are 3 times 2 or 2 times 3 electrons being transferred from aluminium to oxygen. Similarly, if you look at the formulas for iron 2 oxide and magnesium oxide, each um, one mole of the respective oxides would contain one mole of the metal ions. So the number of electrons transferred would be 1 times 2 electron. For sodium oxide, um, if you look at the formula of sodium oxide, for each mole of sodium oxide, there are two moles of sodium ions. So the total number of electrons that are transferred to form one mole of sodium oxide will be 2 times 1. From here, I hope you can see that for options B, C and D, each for formation of one mole of the metal oxides, the metal atoms do transfer exactly two moles of electrons. For the option A, which is the correct answer, uh, for formation of one mole of aluminium oxide, that involves six moles of electrons being transferred from aluminium to oxygen.